The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day after the market close. Tom takes your phone calls from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time using the data available at that time. Let's go to Dave in uh, Greeley, Colorado. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how's it going? Going great, man. You having a good day out there? Doing well. It's picking you up now out here on the tsnn.mobi. It works perfect. I love it, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> we appreciate that. It's pretty cool how it streams like that, isn't it? Yeah, no buffering or nothing. It's yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, I, I appreciate cool. that feedback, man. Thanks so much. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action. You have many great ideas in your head. But without action upon an idea, there be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Well, at TFNN right now, folks, at 20 past the 4, we got a special guest coming up for you. Stay right there. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 83, NASDAQ up 13, S&P's up 7, gold contract flat at 1,587 an ounce. Silver. Now in 20 cents trading at $28.75 an ounce. Platinum at $1,590 an ounce. Copper up a penny at $3.53 a pound. Light sweet crude up 51 cents trading out at $93.04 pennies a barrel. Bonds uh, flat at $1.41.10. Bonds rejected lower price, folks. Did it with light of all, and we did 385,000 contracts going into that 510,000 contracts. That bond market at 14110 wants to run to the 144 level. Uh, you get the juice in it, you'll see 149. King Dollar down 297 ticks. Also, uh, that, I suspect we're going to build some cars now for higher price. We're at 8260. Uh, bottom line is that the next uh, swing point that it wants to get into is the 84.25. If we get juice into that level, you're going to see an $89. Uh, dollar. Euro, 13001. That's a counter trend bounce. Uh, Euro gets smacked around the last uh, three or four days pretty heavily. Yen at 9607. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We're at 1562.83 uh, on the cash S&P. You bring this baby back, and what you have out here, folks, is this. 2007, you're talking about 1576.09. That's game to be hit. That's the bottom line. Uh, you go to the SPY. We're really close on the SPY right now. The SPY, folks, uh, got to a price point today of 156.80. That high that wants to be tested out there from 2007 is 157.52. Uh, that was the, see, the first high that came in in 2007 came in in July. We came in at a high of uh, 156 flat out. Then with the market, one, yeah, 156 flat out. Then what the market did, the market uh, basically went from 156 uh, to 1560 down to 1370. Big move down, no doubt about it, 137. What ends up happening? Uh, expansion all the way back up. We get to the 157.52, and that is what the market is going into right now, and that's what wants to be tested. NASDAQ Composite, still a different animal in the composite. The composite's still having a tough time, folks. Composite up 13 bucks today. We did uh, 1.6 billion shares versus 1.5. Uh, the NDX 100 just can't get out of its way. Uh, inside the NDX 100 today, what you had um, basically uh, putting juice into it. You had Sears um, was up a uh, dollar forty-eight. Uh, we had uh, Viacom was up a dollar fifty-four. Oracle, which is a big weight, and was up seventy-three cents. And the Life Technology was up one twenty-three. Uh, the larger portion, basically taken out of it, is that you had uh, Intuitive Surgical. We'll get back to that in a second. <laughs> you talk about a psycho stock that was down nineteen dollars and forty-four cents. You had Amazon off nine dollars and forty cents. You had F five. Uh, networks down a buck forty-seven, and you had uh, Express Scripts down ninety-four cents. Now, if we just go back to Intuitive Surgical for a second and take a look at Intuitive Surgical, what you're going to see 
And this is the deviance that's inside the market, folks. But if you understand price, if you understand volume, and if you haven't got my book yet, get it on Amazon. It's the Art of Time in the Trade, How Price and Volume Move Markets. Uh, bottom line is that what you're going to see is this. Um, this is just crazy. I tell you, every time this happens too, folks, this is about as bizarre as you get. And what I mean specifically, because when you see this, the, how crazy this stock was, if you remember, on the 20, let's see, the 28th of February, um, the market was up, uh, the NASDAQ was up, and then five minutes before the close, Intuitive Surgical went down $63. And what that was about is that was about a story that came across the Bloomberg uh, tape that the feds were looking at. Well, and that's all they said. It was a, no, they didn't say the fed was looking at it. It said that a, a survey got done and they, uh, that the doctors thought that there was some problems with the intu intuitive surgical, the, um, system that the Da Vinci system that they use. Okay. Bottom line, what ha happens is this. The stock goes down 63 bucks. The next morning, folks, Okay, so you hit a low, and you hit that low with 309,000 shares. So bottom line, you get a high, you know, low volume wants to be tested. Well, and this is, this, is where, this is how bizarre this gets. Next morning, it opens up $54. So people get sucked right into the stock again. You know, 557. Well, guess what? Not only went from 557 straight down, uh, now you had a volume expand again uh, down at these levels. This stock is in big trouble, folks. Um, you know, now what you're doing is that you're coming into a lower swing point. You got expanded volume coming into that swing point. Uh, after the close out here, uh, ULTA, if you want to see another one, how just if you get volume, what happens, folks, is this you get volume on the way up, stocks are breaking out. Beautiful thing, man. That, they're going higher. You get volume on the downtown system, they're going lower. Um, Ultra Salon, what you had is this. Last time, uh, this gapped away, it gapped away on uh, the 13th of February, the, the high there was $99, what ends up happening, it opens at 86. Uh, this closed at $88 today, and right now she's trading at 79. Uh, let's see what numbers are saying, what they say, okay, the earnings were below estimates. They, the estimate was uh, 72 cents, they're gonna make 60 cents. The key to, to look at this, okay, um, is this, is that when you, basically we, we put this on a five-year basis, and what you're going to see is that had beautiful and that, that, that this is a this is a, a perfect situation folks to look at nothing can go up forever and nothing can go down forever and you have to get normal corrections okay so this ULTA starts out at six dollars okay 2009 has volume by the way all the way up Act, it, it acts great there's no there's no two ways about it you know has volume up to 96 bucks then what does it do gets over the goes to 96 to 103, has lighter volume. And the first heads up was how it came off the high. You know, we talk about coming off highs with volume. And in this particular case, what you did have is that you had distribution happen at all, just about, let's see, four, four, eight. Yeah, you had distribution happening for eight months at highs. Then what do you have, what happens? You come off that high with volume. That's always problematic. Now, what's well, gonna get interesting with the stock, this is coming down hard, but this is not a done stock because a normal. So what? This is what you have to get your head wrapped around, folks. Is that a normal retracement in a move period? Okay, it, you know, point three eight two all the time. A fifty percent retracement is not the end of the world in in, a, in equity. And when you have a huge run up, you want to take your money because a fifty percent. Retracement in an equity like this brings you back to 65 bucks, but 65 bucks, plenty, plenty of volume there, you know. So what tends to happen on something that looks like that is that yeah, it's going to come down hard, uh, but before it actually gets back to that 65 dollar area, more than likely what you're going to see is a very fast contraction of volume as it gets into that swing point. We're going to take a look at the gold market out here. We had with gold out here, folks. Today is this: is that the gold market? Uh, did 134,000 contracts. I like what it did out here today, folks. I can tell you that. Uh, why? Because what we did, what we've done is this. Uh, the, now this is the, the actual gold contract we're talking about. The first spike down, we got down to 1588. Second one got underneath it with 1554 lighter volume. Then you had that small sign of strength. It was nice sign of strength. We got up to $1,619.
You come back down again, you had lighter volume at the 194. Then what ended up happening, and this was the kicker, the kicker was on the 8th of March. Uh, that kicker there, I was like, okay, man, you come, you, they come down, you come down with too much volume. It was 214,000 contracts. Today, you got into that area with 134. So what it did is this. Get into the area of 218, is into the area of 260, and what you end up doing is you ended up rejecting that 214 area. That's, that's a big move because a, a couple of these other equities, uh, they're setting up right now. And it's real possible. And you know, if you, you want to hear the deviance, listen to the deviance. This is amazing, actually. I was watching how the euro and the dollar is changing, and there's some real good deviance. And, and folks, deviance in a marketplace is, is a beautiful thing. Um, and what I mean specifically is, is that that's what the market likes to do. You stay right there, folks. We've got a special guest coming up for you right after this break. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. We're going to be right back, folks. We got our man coming back. It's a beautiful thing. And I know uh, plenty of other tigers and tigresses uh, know this man out here. I'm in Mr. Bud Rolfs. And Bud Rolfs, folks, is the king of trading ranges, primary trading ranges, mid PTRs, channels, uh, bottom line. He was uh, growling and prowling uh, each and every day with you out here for over 10 years. Uh, he's been uh, in retirement for a couple of years. And the bottom line is uh, he is back. And I want you to go to the front page of our website at TFNN, and Bud's going to tell you uh, uh, what it's all about. Bud Rolfs, what's going on? Hey, Tommy, it's good to be back here on TFNN. You know, there's nobody in the world uh, as great as those Tiger listeners out there, the Tigers and Tigresses. Uh, they're a class act, and, uh, you know, anybody that hangs around Tom O'Brien uh, the class uh, just rubs off. I well, know. no, listen, I appreciate it. But listen, we really appreciate you, number one. Uh, what Bud has done, folks, is done. he's done a special report. And, you know, for all the new listeners, if you, if, if you, if you don't know Bud, you're going to know him, okay? Because uh, Bud Rolfs is one of the best technicians far beyond anything in the world. And, it, and it's so clear um, uh, his uh, ranges, his consolidations, I'm sure you've heard me uh, talk about many times uh, uh, the Channel King. Well, for, l l let's go through it, but because Bud's going to do a, a, a special uh, one-time report, folks, with a 90-minute webinar. It's going to be uh, next Thursday night, March 21st, uh, 6.30 to 8.30. Um, uh, bottom line, he's going to be, be talking about what's going on in the markets uh, for quite a while. So uh, talk to me about what's going to be in this report, Bud. Right, Tom. Uh, as Tom said, folks, uh, next Thursday, March 21st, from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be doing a special market analysis webinar, and it's going to be called The Coming Four Years in the Market, Misfortune or Miss a Fortune. Oh, I love okay? it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Tom, you know, the, the over the last four years, since 2009, when the major markets bottomed, yes. you know, they've all made major moves higher ever since. Right. And uh, recently, uh, you've heard a lot of to-do about the Dow Industrials just over their all-time highs. Yeah. And the S&P 500 is creeping up right to the boundary of its uh, making a new all-time high. And, you know, Tom, you know that what that means as a technician. We're either at a top, yeah. ready to start back down, or we're going to break out and make an unbelievable new bull market run, one or the other. Yes. And the trillion-dollar question, therefore, is how are our TFNN listeners ever going to objectively, not emotionally or, you know, bias in a biased way, figure out which of those two things is going to happen. Right. And once they do, how are they going to be safe? How are they going to quickly know if which way they put their money, which way, uh, how are they going to know if they're wrong before they do much damage? Yes. Uh, and now, that's what's so cool about where we are, bud, right? What's that? That's what's so cool about where we are in the market right now, too. The timing couldn't be better. Yeah, yeah. 
You know, you need to know now because that S and P is right at the cusp. Yes, no doubt. Okay, it's right there. At it's either going to do it or it's not going to do it right now. Right, and folks, okay. just so you understand something, the, the way that Bud. Uh, teaches is extraordinary and and what's going to be inside that webinar is the tools that you are going to have the fishing rod this is not going to be you know th and that's what is so dynamic about what he does go ahead I'm sorry man no that's okay well how can you know folks now you think about this all right well most people are going to either read the Wall Street Journal and listen to those guys or they're going to watch the stock shows on television. Now, in either place, the, the pros from Dover there are going to talk about the Dow breakout. I mean, if you turn on the TV, all you're going to hear is, oh, it's seven or nine straight days, whatever it is here, where the Dow yeah, well, higher high. Yeah, today's, oh. today's 10, and it broke. Uh, yesterday it was 16 years, so I don't know what it is today. Probably yeah, 100 right, years. Yeah, 60 years, and that's all you hear about. Right. Well, Tom, the Dow is 30 stocks. Yes, 30 stocks. Well, you know, how many thousands of stocks are there? What are we listening to 30 stock signals for? Uh, Great point. You know, yes. And, and then they'll talk about the S&P, which is right at that 1550 area, which is critical, right? Yes. That's the, that's the high. But, but, and, but on that one, they're wishy-washy. They're waiting to see what it does. So okay. they're not telling you anything about the S&P. Right. Now, that's 500 stocks, so that is a signal worth hearing. But on that one, they got nothing to say. They're all waiting to see. Right. So they're not telling you anything about that one. So they're giving you a 30-stock signal that it has broken out, but they're not saying it's going to continue to go anywhere. They're just saying it's made a new all-time high. Yes. You know, and that's a 30-stock signal. And the NASDAQ, they're not saying anything about that because they're waiting for it to go to 5,000. Right. Well, meanwhile, they all missed a major market technical signal that happened a year ago in 2012. Right. They all missed it. And I'm going to be talking to the TFNN listeners about that come March 21st. And I'm going to show them in spades, in spades, that they've all all the pros from Dover have missed this signal that happened a year ago, and it is one of the keys to the fate of the market over the next four years. And the only place in the world that you're going to hear this is right here at TFNN.com. Yeah. And we listen, man, we really appreciate it. You know, I was talking to Bud folks, and I mean, I know a lot of you Tigers and Tigers says no Bud. Uh, and uh, but uh, when you see, uh, you know, what you're going to learn, it's, it's absolutely incredible. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. And Tom, I, I tell you, I, I, you know, when I saw this, yeah, you know, and it's like, you know, you, uh, they say that the guy who discovered the uh, what rubber or whatever, he dropped it on the floor and it bounced, and he did it by accident. Yes, yes. You know, and the guy who discovered penicillin, uh, you know, he accidentally had some moldy bread. Right. Well, that's what happened here. I stumbled over this. I wasn't looking for it. Right. You know, I stumbled over this, and so, you know, some of the great things are just—they just come to you. Well, and, and it, I, it, when I saw this, when I saw this, you know, I have a dent in my desk from where my jaw hit the desk. <laughs> okay. Because, and see, folks, he's got a great sense of humor too. <laughs> well, you know, I saw this, and this pattern. For, I am going to show you now, folks. I am not just going to give you my opinion on what's going to happen over the next four years. I am going to show you proof, okay? I am going to show you patterns that go repeated over and over again. And I'm going to show you how when these patterns happen, a certain result occurs. You know, and yes. technical analysis is filled with if-then statements. You know, if this happens, then you're going to get this result. Okay. And I'm going to show you that there's one of these big if-thens in the market. Which is so Her. cool. No, I'm with you. Right, right. You know, and, 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 they, all, and they all missed it. It's, it's amazing. Do, you, right? do, you just, just stay right there. You know, we're, we're going to take a quick break, folks, and we're going to come back. And, we're, and Bell's going to go through it. And we're going to go through, uh, you know, what he's been up to, too. I know he's got these grandchildren going. He's, these kids up in National Hampshire, folks, they're just spoiled beyond belief. It's a beautiful thing. Bud Rolfs, Tom O'Brien, all you tigers and tigresses, you stay right there. We're coming right back. 
Welcome back, folks. We have our man, Mr. Bud Rolfs, on today, folks. Bud had his own program on TFNN for approximately 10 years. He's been retired for a couple of years. Uh, he's uh, just like Babe Ruth. He's coming back, folks. Uh, and the bottom line is coming back for a, an outstanding education of what is going on in the market, number one right now, but how you can basically take advantage of it and understand what is happening in the market. Uh, he has a special report that's coming out. It's going to be out on Thursday with a hour and a half webinar. Um, you can come over to our website at TFNN. That webinar, by the way, will be on your page for over a full month. Uh, so, Bud, uh, so we were talking about um, exactly, you know, what you're going to be talking about here. Oh. At the webinars. Yes. Uh, you know, you're going to get 90 minutes of information, and for some folks, that's like trying to take a drink out of a fire hose because you know you're 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 pumping a lot of information out, and you know, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to send out if you if you sign up for this, Tom, and uh, uh, I think we got a price of 179 bucks for this webinar. If you sign up for this at tfnn.com. We're going to send you out immediately an executive summary. It's 11 pages. Oh, cool. I got it. Okay, great. Okay, we're going to okay. send you out an executive summary, so you'll be able to read through the highlights of this. Yes. And it is chock full of examples with charts that lead you up. It, it gives you the concepts. There's about eight technical analysis concepts that we use to build our case for what we think is going to happen in the markets over the next four years. And I have so it right in front of me, folks. So we talk about these concepts. And then we give you examples of these concepts in action, not in the market, but, but I mean, they're actual examples of, of, of stocks or whatever, but we kind of build slowly and you show them in stocks or whatever, and then, uh, or ETFs or something, and show them how they worked, how those concepts work in, in lesser things than the major markets. No. And then we show you the same patterns as they exist in the major markets currently, and what those uh, mean for the major markets That's as far so as cool. correction goes, either up or down. So right. It's not like we're just giving you our, our gas bag opinions. We're showing you these technical analysis models and how they actually turned out before historically and how they are set up to turn out in the major markets. That's what you're going to get. You're going to get this 11-page uh, executive summary first. And then you'll get a 90-minute webinar. We'll go into more detail there to make sure you really understand it. And, Tom, there's money-making stuff in here. I'm planting in there, in these models and examples, stocks that show you where they're going. Yes. Uh, I don't want to give away no, stuff. No, but I, can I can tell you this, folks. I'm, you know, I didn't realize, Bud, that uh, so you get the executive summary plus you got the, the webinar. And I can tell you, folks, I'm looking at the executive summary. And the executive summary, which I had said to Bud, is really a clear, concise, shot book uh, uh, of exactly, you know, what and how Bud looks at the market. And I can tell you, folks, clarity in the market is really important. And it's pure clarity. That's meaning that Bud's going to explain, okay, if this happens, that happens. If this happens, that happens. And, you know, as Bud said a little bit earlier, that an hour and a half, you know, there's going to be a lot in there. But I can tell you that the clarity that is inside the way that his technical analysis is clear as a bell. So it's really cool, man. It's no doubt. Right. And just, to, just as an example, Tom's reading the executive summary. There's a blue chip company that I point out and use as an example yes. to show you that's doing something and, and it's halfway toward uh, going where it's going to go. And uh, if you do what I suggest you do there, uh, there's a 30% return on that blue chip uh, uh, company uh, that you can get over the next 12 to 18 months. Um, and uh, it's just laying there for you to pick up. So. There's money to be had just in the executive summary, just as I show you examples of what's, what's in this stuff. So uh, I'm telling you, there's gold in them in our hills, and, and it's there to be had. And I'm going to load it up for you in this webinar, folks. And, folks, the way you do it, just come over to our website at TFNN. It's right on the front page. You'll see it right there. Uh, it's $179. Uh, you get the executive summary. You get the webinar. It's an hour and a half. It's uh, next Thursday night, so it's a week from tonight. Uh, it's from 8.30 to uh, 6.30, rather, Eastern Time to 8 o'clock. And remember, folks, that webinar will also be on your page for a full month. So you'll have the summary, 
You'll have the webinar. And most important, though, folks, you're going to get the education of a lifetime from Bud Rolfs. Uh, you know, just absolutely amazing. So here, I, I know, you know, I know, you know, in retirement, your daughter had triplets. Now, how old are they now? Uh, they, they were just one back on February 6th. Okay, amazing. And you, you know what's amazing to me? I mean, this this just blew my mind. I mean, yeah. I, I know this is natural and stuff. But it's the way things work. But they were born February 6th. Okay. Uh, a year ago. Yes. And they weighed a total of a little over 16 pounds. All three of them? All three okay, of them. Okay, that right. makes sense. I got, okay, five and a third. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Now, now that's a lot, right? I mean, a normal sure. woman... Ha has an eight or nine pound baby and she feels like you know oh yeah yeah you know so my daughter-in-law was carrying 16 and a half pounds of baby so yes so first of all that was amazing but they you know a year later the three of them weighed a total of about 64 and a half pounds wow one year I said to her what do you feel uh, what are you <laughs> feeding them whale milk <laughs> That is amazing, man. Life's a trip, isn't it? That is so isn't cool. That a trip? It really is, man. It really is. And and how's Nancy and uh, and, and your and your son? Oh, uh, the fabulous Nancy. I mean, those of you who who remember my show, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I I'll tell you the great you know, one of the greatest blessings of my life was I I stumbled into the fabulous Nancy back. I went to West Point from uh, 1969 to 1973, and you could not be married at West Point. That right. was the rule. And uh, uh, so I graduated from West Point in, on June 6, 1973, Tom. I married the fabulous Nancy on June 17, 1973, and the only mistake I made was I wasted 11 days. I know. I love that. that isn't that amazing, folks? It is so cool. It's amazing. It really is. That is and so this, cool. And uh, this June 17th, the fabulous Nancy and I will be married uh, for 40 years. Wow. So we're celebrating our 40th anniversary together. And uh, I plan on uh, uh, being in charge for the next 40, I told her. <laughs> Good luck she's, with that. She's had, her, she's had her 40, now I get mine. <laughs> oh, man. That is so cool, bud. That is so cool. Well, listen, you know, uh, we're really looking forward to the uh, webinar, bud. You know, you sound great. You feel great. And, you know, it's, it's great to... Uh, have you back. And folks, you know, I know many of you heard me say that, you know, this is like Hotel California. And you know what? This is the ultimate in full Hotel California because we got our man, Mr. Bud Rolfs, walking right in the door again. You know? <laughs> See that, Bud? Once yeah. you're in, you can't get out. <laughs> 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 Listen, man, you have, have a great night, safe night, and of course, you know, um, it, it just, it, this is just as good as it gets. You know, I told, I said to Bud earlier, folks, okay, Bud and I were talking earlier, and you know what's so cool is that we all love what we do, okay, and you know, you, you, you got to make money to have a good life, okay, but life, folks, is about Bud Rolfs, Bud, about the Tigers and Tigresses, about a good education, um, you know, um, it's, you know, we want to be right more than we're wrong. There's no two ways about that. Um, but what's so cool is that when Bud and I were talking, I was actually getting the chills. And it was so cool, man, when you can sit in your chair and, you know, you, you talk with someone that you're really tight with anyway. And I says, man, this is so cool that, you know, you're doing this, number one. Um, you're, you're coming back. Because what Bud was saying to me, do you think, you know, people will remember me? Remember me? Folks, I, I, you know, you know all your tigers and tigers out here. Bud Rolfs will always be the king of channels, the king of PTRs, the king of trading ranges. I mean, that's the bottom line, Bud. And it's, it's awesome, man. And, and I can tell you, personally, it's what it's all about, you know. Because when you melt the uh, life with education, with a great spirit, that's the name of the game, you know, because we know that we all can have hard days. But if if you do that, folks, what ends up happening is that you're always going to do the right thing. You're going to go forward. And, you know, I always read those cards that you'll get exactly what you're asking for, you know. So, listen, man, we really appreciate it. You tell everyone we said hi. And um, I absolutely just can't wait for uh, that, that report. The, I have the report, but I know the clarity uh, inside not only the report but inside your webinar, man. And well, you know, you know, Tom, it's just uh, like you get out of life what you put into it. 
Yeah. And it's it's not what happens to you, it's what you do about it. And uh, I always try to keep the sun in my heart. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? Oh, okay, folks, we're going to push him a little bit more because, you know, okay, so let me get you back. What we definitely need, and, and folks, and Bud Rolfs has the best poems in the world, okay? So this doesn't have to be next week, but you're going to have to call us in, you know, because we, we missed the veterans poem and the July 4th poem, and you know, we're going to need a good poem, all right? All right, Tommy. Love you, pal. Love you too, Tom. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. And wait till you hear his poems, folks. They're absolutely extraordinary. There's no doubt about it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right on the front page, folks. Um, great education right here, right now. You just stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.